Hey everybody, Dave Basulto, FilmmakingCentral.com, here today to show you another time-saving uh, workflow in Premiere Pro CS5. Uh, it's a huge time saver. It's helped me on a lot of projects. So let's get to it. What we're going to do today is we're going to apply a transition to multiple clips. So let's say you have a timeline that just has you know 50, 60 clips, which I actually just got done doing. Um, and you know, to go and add uh, crossfade or anything between them all is very time consuming. So luckily Adobe CS5 has a great way to do it and let's see how. So here's some footage I have uh, from Adobe Max that I recently went to. It's Jason Levine, the audio guru himself. I was fortunate enough to uh, videotape his, uh, his session um, and when that's up on Adobe you should definitely check it out because it's a really good one. Um, so let's just go in here and let's say I'm going to make an in point there. I'm going to go ahead a little bit. I'll do an out point there. I'm going to lay that in the timeline. Let's go ahead. We want to know about Jason's contact information. I'm going to put that there. Let's go ahead and do another little one. And let's do another little one. And, you know, you can you pretty soon can have massive amounts of clips with uh, you have to go back in and add these transitions. So now we're talking about one, two, three, four, five, uh, six clips here, which isn't massive, but it still will get you uh, to understand the point here. Um, so the cool thing is all I have to do is select all my clips. Let's just say I'm ready to start uh, adding crossfades or whatever my transition would be. I select them all. I go up into my uh, sequence, drop down menu. Go down here and just choose Apply Default Transitions to Selection. If I let it go, you can see now, I'll try to expand this a little bit. But you can see right here, I've got a crossfade, and let's expand it a lot. Okay, so here's the first clip, Cross Dissolve and Constant Power. And the next one, Cross Dissolve and Constant Power. Cross dissolve and constant power. It's all there. So now I might just have to go in there and do a little tweaking to it. So I will um, select a clip and go up into my uh, effects controls. And now here it is. Maybe I want to uh, shorten it, which I certainly can do. And there's my crossfade. Cross dissolve, I should say. Uh, so that's it. It's simple to do. Um, once you're in this area, in case you don't know, you can click show actual sources. It'll show it to you right here in the little box. I don't usually have that checked. I think it takes more memory, but uh, I may be wrong. Um, now we go into the effects panel down here and we expand the video transitions. Let's say uh, you don't want cross dissolve. You want... Um, page peel, your client's a big, uh, or your film really needs to have page peels in it. All you do is click on the page peel, right click, and you can select, uh, set selected as default transition. And if you do that, you'll see it's selected right there. Now when you go back and add those, you'll see the page peel instead. And uh, that's it, it's pretty simple. I'll leave this on cross dissolve, because that's what I usually use. And also it sets your, uh, your audio transition down here. So if I double click on that, here's my constant power. Um, if you don't need it, all you do is highlight it and press delete and you don't have a audio uh, transition anymore. So that's pretty simple to do. And I'll put it back for now. Um, and if you go back into the audio uh, transitions and there's really only three, so let's say you want constant gain. All you do is click on that and set that as the selected transition. So simple stuff. I love it. It's a huge time saver. I literally just did this massive project with tons of clips and was able to uh, add all my transitions with one click. So hope this helps you. It's a, it certainly helped me when I found out how to do it. And um, love CS5. Hope you do too. Visit us on the Facebook page at Adobe uh, Premiere Pro, uh, Facebook slash Premiere Pro. And uh, their Twitter following is at Adobe Premiere. So check it out. More cool stuff soon. I'm Dave Basulto. Thank you for watching.